Yo, it's Alberto here, bringing you this awesome gameplay of a domination game on the map Havana. Where on this game, I managed to get two blackbirds, two choppers, and two attack dogs. Um, just playing with the um, usual guys that I play with on uh, the PlayStation or the PS3. Some people you know. Um, literally, we just literally wrote their spawn, trapped them in the A spawn, and uh, we couldn't get out. And uh, it was a really good game, yeah, not just for me, but for, for my teammates. Um, but while I was getting my attack dogs and that, I still didn't even come top. So it just goes to show um, how competitive we are as a team. But it, you know, it's, as well as it being a team game, it's also about who can be top um, between the six of us. And we get a nice double kill here. Um, but this fountain, if you can control this fountain on this map, uh, you are laughing. Um, Simple reason being, I mean, how I managed to get that, that um, blackbird there because I didn't even do anything for the eighth kill. But um, I'll have it n nevertheless. Um, but um, a couple of games before this, I actually put my attack dogs on, um, my kill streaks. Um, because before I used to use the napalm blackbird and chopper, um, but now I'm using the blackbird, the chopper, and the attack dogs. Um, my perks, using my the org. Or um, flat jacket pro, uh, slot band pro, and uh, tap mask pro. Simple reason being for the tap mask pro is when you're playing demolition games and stuff like that. Um, if people chuck, you know, tactical grenades at you or an overgas, it doesn't affect you. You can walk through your own napalm. You can walk through the enemy team's napalm. Um, and for the flat jacket, it's just the simple reason being uh, if you do want to try and spawn trap them and they're throwing frags at you, uh, you know, you're likely to take less damage or no damage at all, um, which results in no death. So, um, which is a good thing. Um, but uh, I've been using the org a lot, which is the gun I'm using now, but this is actually a gun that I picked up from someone that died. Um, but I use it normally. Uh, with either the red dot or extended mags um, sorry dual mags not extended mags um, I just find it works better for me um, but as you can see that's my first slot my first blackbird chopper and attack dogs and now I'm getting over the second I found it hard to, to get him there um, I couldn't see him properly beyond the wall I knew he was there but I couldn't see him properly he managed to see me though so um, but nevertheless, it gives me a chance to go on now uh, to go and get on my, my second kill streak now and get going again. But you see, a lot of people run to this fountain and it can get congested, uh, which makes it you know, sometimes it can get hard because you're trying to share the spawn with somebody else and it makes the game harder for you because you, you're all aiming for the same kill basically. Um, and as you, you, you all know, if you want to do these kills and get your hot the eyes kill streak, you can get. Um, you really, you really need to play it like you're playing free for all, like you're playing on your own. Um, but uh, the good thing I find with playing with these friends is they're all good at this game. I played with them from Modern Warfare to upwards onto Black Ops, and now it's just a matter of time um, before we all go on to Modern Warfare 3 together. Um, the good thing that um, I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, modern warfare is bringing the death streaks back um, though because people have said to me you know black ops is easy but I don't believe how it can be easier than modern warfare 2 when you're adding to earn your kill streaks with your gun they don't carry on like they would do in modern warfare 2 from predator or chopper or you know to get your nuke basically hopefully they'll bring the nuke back on modern warfare 3 um, I've never had a nuke on Modern Warfare 2, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can finally go and get one on Modern Warfare 3. And I might just aim to get one on Modern Warfare 2 when I go back to playing in the last two weeks before MW3 come out. Um, but as you can see, guys, I'm well on my way now to get my second Blackbird. Um, and once we get there, I mean, how I didn't get killed there, I mean, someone RP and um, Once you get blackbird uh, you know which way the enemy is facing and it makes life a hell of a lot easier for you not just for you though but also for your teammates 
Um, but it also makes you, you know, when someone on the enemy team has a blackbird out against yourself, you feel, or I do, I feel a bit paranoid because you know they know where you are and which way you're facing. So you basically you're trapped in one sense. And the only way out of it is to uh, actually uh, just go for it really and try or try and camp it out uh, around your friends. So, you know, if they're going to get you, they're going to get your friends as well. That sounds harsh, but... Um, it don't always work the way you want it to go. I mean, I was lucky I didn't get killed, and I nearly lost that on my chopper. And um, I would have been really disappointed if I'd have lost that on my second chopper. Um, but I can't get it out at the moment, um, so we might as well just go for the dogs. Um, but this particular day, I was just raping all day. Um, I've got an 87 kill uh, demolition game as well. I'm going to be putting up within the next couple of days as well. Um, so, and I think you guys will enjoy that. Um, I certainly did. Um, and it was on the Nuke Town 24/7 map. Um, but I, I don't normally like Nuke Town, but I, I thought sod it. You know, I, I want to play it because you know, my mates. Oh, come on, let's play it. So, you know, basically that's what we did. But now um, we're just going to wait and see what happens now from Modern Warfare 3. Right guys, this video is coming to an end. Uh, please do me a favour and find time to like, favourite and uh, please subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And I'll bring you some more awesome gameplay soon.